learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly. Hey, it's Crockett here, and I'm responding to one of the emails sent in from my good buddy Scott Giorgini over at Mirrorless Central that he got from a couple of folks on his site about how we're going to use a Lumix G5 or any mirrorless camera, for that matter, with pocket wizards. Here's the core of the problem. Say you're thinking about moving into a mirrorless camera, one of the more premium ones, and say you're thinking about leaving behind your DSLR. Well, Good, I guess. <laughs> You're in the same boat as me. I'm slowly but surely finding that I'm using more mirrorless cameras for real paying client jobs, but I have to use a lot of flash, a lot of strobe with my work. And I'm not talking just slide in uh, shoe flash. I'm talking about real big boy pro strobes, right? So when we're going to use any sort of mirrorless camera, it's for me at least going to have to have a hot shoe. So assuming it's got a hot shoe, the pocket wizard folks are the wireless triggers. That's the long range very super duper sure triggering device of choice and they make ones that will carry a TTL signal right an automated exposure control signal for flash that are TTL capable and they also make regular pocket wizards like this that will just trigger on and off right these are just for studio strobes even though you can use them for your little shoe mount flashes they're only going to turn it on that's it they're not going to do any TTL work so basically choose any pocket wizard or wireless transmitter that you like and slide it on the hot shoe just like you do anything else, right? Best bet is to have both the camera and the pocket wizard turned off. Then turn on the pocket wizard first and then the camera second and you should be good to go. Now, you'll notice in a lot of my videos that you'll see me using Q flash, right? I like Q flash a lot. And now that we're using mirrorless and we're traveling smaller and lighter, we're doing the same with our Q flash system too. You may have noticed that on one of my last big commercial advertising shoots, big budget shoot, by the way, we chose to use Q flash. Well, the reason is mirrorless cameras have superior low light performance when compared to our full size Nikon cameras, right? Our DSLR cameras. So that means we can get away with less flash power. So I'm going to use a wide variety of different quantum brand. That's the Q flash folks of transmitters. Here's their lowest cost one that kind of competes with the pocket wizard. And you can easily, same thing, just slide this on just like you would anything else. Snug it down. You're good to go. The difference with this, which by the way, this is called the free X wire, and that's a model nine T. The difference with the free X wire gear versus pocket wizard is free X wire will wirelessly send TTL signals in radio base instead of light base. Wow. That sounds like a bunch of alphabet soup there, doesn't it? But don't be afraid of using even your TTL oriented pocket wizards. That's the mini and the flex. We love those too. You can use those in manual mode just as well as you can use them in TTL mode. And I've also got a secret for you. Ready? Guess who the first flash manufacturer is going to be to make a TTL compatible third party super duper ultra rock and great flash for Lumix cameras? Quantum WPPI next month. I will have the pleasure of showing the world the first wireless transmitter for TTL, radio based TTL. Yeehaw for the Lumix GH3 and the Lumix G5. So you can have awesome quantum performance with wireless TTL capability. But the bad news is those of you that are new to quantum, that stuff expansive. <laughs> That's right. Worth every penny. Don't get me wrong, but it's two to three times the cost of your shoe flash, your pro shoe flash. So more information, go to qtm.com slash learn, and you'll see this handsome mug over there telling you how we're going to wirelessly connect up all kinds of cameras to all kinds of flashes. So thanks for the terrific question. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free.